Hello, and welcome back to Rusty Metal Ranch. I'd like to follow up my uh, my first video on my guillotine treadle hammer um, to expound a little on the drive mechanism, uh, specifically the chain, the sprocket, and how it attaches to the frame and to the hammer, and, um, and why I chose that particular method of doing it. Um, at first glance, you see a single sprocket and most people, when they think of a single sprocket, they don't, they don't consider it to be a mechanical advantage because it's just a simple sprocket. And the reasoning behind that is, as we're going to find out, the difference between a fixed and a movable pulley system. A fixed pulley system is where you have a pulley overhead, you have a rope or a cable or whatever, and a mass. If you lift... If you pull on the rope here one unit of distance, this will lift one unit of distance. Um, further, if this is 50 pounds, you have to apply 50 pounds to counter that weight. Or you have to apply slightly more to lift it. And, and conversely, you can give less and have the weight come down this way. There's no mechanical advantage. It's simply a, a directional change in, uh, in which way the force is moving. However, my system that I have on my hammer is considered a movable pulley. And here's where the differences lay. If you were to grab this end, with this end being fixed and the pulley attached to the mass, if you moved this one unit of distance, this would only move half of a unit of lift. But the benefit is, each half of the rope on either side of the pulley is only lifting half of the mass. So this half lifts 25 pounds if this is a 50 pound mass, and this half only lifts 50, or 25 pounds. So you're having the effort necessary to lift that 50 pounds. Um, now I'm not worried about the effort to move the treadle. The treadle obviously moves easy enough, but what I'm interested in and why I chose this, and how I finally came to understand why this might be a better system, is, is in this ratio here, one unit of pull to half a unit of lift. But if you do this opposite, say you have your fixed point, you have your moving point. In this case, uh, my, my uh, shock absorbing springs are the fixed point, and the hammer is the moving point, and you use the pulley to actually operate the whole mechanism, in this case. What that means is, if the pulley moves half a unit of distance, that fixed end will move one full unit. So it's literally a two to one ratio, in theory. So there is a benefit to that. Uh, that means I can move the treadle a certain amount of distance, and the hammer will move down uh, not only at a, a larger distance, but that also means you can gain velocity too. Um, that's why I kind of went with the system in the first place, because once I kind of grokked the whole thing, it, uh, it made sense to go ahead and apply it because it wasn't costing me anything extra. I already had to have the a drive mechanism in place, and this was just as simple to set up. Now, for practicality purposes, I'd like to show you that is roughly five and three quarters of a distance, five and three quarters of an inch distance from the bottom of the treadle to uh, the block of wood. Eh, five and a half, somewhere in there, five and five eighths. So it's only going to move five and a half inches roughly. And then uh, let's say we go to the bottom there. That's about three and a quarter. So, if I come all the way down to the block of wood, I have roughly 10 inches. So, for that five and a half inches of travel, I, on, the, on the treadle, I have about approximately, not quite seven inches on the hammer. So, while the theory does state two to one, it doesn't quite work out on that. And, you know, there's some moving parts. There's the springs. There's a few other uh, 
intricacies involved, I'm sure. I'm not an engineer, so I can't speak as to all the salient points on this matter. But I can tell you, as you just witnessed with the ruler, there is a mechanical advantage. It is simply not just a one-to-one -one system. And again, it's, uh, it's not just about how far the hammer travels, it's about the velocity. So basically, while again, it's not a true two-to-one system, I am getting more than a one-to-one -one velocity uh, treadle to hammer ratio. And I think that's where this has uh, paid off. So I hope this uh, makes some sense. I hope it'll help you if uh, you're in the middle of designing your own treadle hammer, guillotine style hammer. Um, and I, I hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks much. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.